Hey you guys, it's currently Friday, July 7th, 2023. Now just about a month or two ago, I released a video because four months ago on Thursday, March 9th, 2023, I had just got out of a little over a seven year relationship, almost seven and a half years. And it definitely was hard, don't get me wrong. Relationships are never easy to get out of, regardless if it's kind of a newer one or a long-term one, if you really care about this person. It's not going to be easy. I'm not going to bore you guys with all the details and I'm not going to say the ex-girlfriend's name. But today's video is more going to be about what it, it's been like to find out she's with someone else. Now, it really does suck. I want to give a little background info real quick. So again, me and this my ex-girlfriend were together for seven and a half years. We broke up. You know, things are stressful for anybody when they break up. You just have to stay motivated and let time go and be happy with yourself. I think... That's the biggest thing is finding inner happiness with yourself, which is what I'm trying to work on now. But the main thing I want to point out is that I was doing pretty good. I mean, I had texted her a few times. One time me and the ex-girlfriend had a phone call like a week and a half after we quit talking to each other. Other than that, I didn't talk to her at all. I never had any sort of response to the text. I never talked to her again on the phone. And I was finally doing better. Like anybody going through a breakup, don't think that you can't get past it. I, all you have to do is better yourself. So that's the main thing. So I was starting to finally feel better. And then I found out just right before July 4th, I think it was like July 3rd, I found out that she's dating somebody else. And that, I don't know, of course it's somebody that I knew and have known for years. So it kind of sucks. It makes me definitely hurt inside, but it also gives me this momentum and like thought pattern that I just need to like do whatever I can to better myself like because at the end of the day that's why I was already starting to do all right before I found all this info out because I go, I'm happy with myself as a human which is what everyone needs to do so it's kind of smoking time I'm a little stressed out hold on I am but me as a human, I am happy with myself. I mean, I am stressed out about a ton of things, just like everybody else. No one wants to owe money or have to have things to pay for. Like, of course, yeah, there's always things that stress me out. But as an individual, I am content with myself as a human. Now, don't let me sit here and act like Andrew Tate, like things don't bother me. That's not what I'm trying to say. Like, I'm devastated right now about the ex-girlfriend because... I truly, like I told you guys in the previous video, the only reason me and her didn't stay together is because I want children and she didn't. Like, to be honest, in my head, she was who I wanted to spend the rest of my entire life with. But obviously now that's not going to happen. She's already dating someone else. And you just, you never know what's going to happen. You could be in a worst case scenario. You could have like a mutual friend call you and say, hey, they talked to your ex and now they have STDs and they're dating somebody. So you just never know. Things could be a worse situation. Like, you know, you could get a phone call saying that they're dead. You know, you never, you never know. You could get a phone call finding out they're with your best friend. You know, like things could be worse. I just have to deal with the situation I've been dealt. And even though like, yeah, I'm not saying just because she's dating somebody that no, we could never talk again in the future. Like, yeah, that's always a possibility but to me it's like dead now and I think that anybody in my situation should also think that way think that they're like dead to you don't even worry about an ex the best thing you can do is just become like a monster and do whatever you can to make yourself a better person I made that sound weird don't become like a monster in a negative way but like you like a monster at like working hard like I don't know like I feel like I lit a fire under my ass. I went out and I bought a truck since I broke up with the ex-girlfriend. And now it has me super motivated to want to get this truck paid off to upgrade to a better truck. And, you know, that's the type of stuff I want to better myself and be happy with my own situation. Not be like, oh, what is she up to? And that's the big thing I screwed up on. And please, anybody who watches this, if I can help you, don't sit there and think that they're going to hit you up. It's not worth it. I've wasted four months. Like, yeah, I went out on a couple dates. Yeah, I talked to a few chicks. But, like, I always had that back thought in my head that she was going to hit me up. And I just kind of wanted to, like, make sure not to get into anything serious. Because I was like, you know. And, I, and I honestly, me personally, and I feel bad for 
anybody going through my situation because I do agree with this. For men, it is a lot harder to go through a breakup than a woman because men, it is a lot harder to find another partner. Just the going fact. I, now, there are certain case scenarios where a guy is really attractive, gets a bunch of girls, okay, maybe they won't have that issue. But the average guy like me, I'm not like stunting handsome. So like, I don't just have a bunch of girls draped up ready to like sleep with me. So it's definitely like, I knew that she was gonna probably move on quicker. But the main thing is I know I want to upgrade myself. Like my next girlfriend, I want to be better, have a better career, work harder, be more motivated to do the things that I wanna do. Now, I'm not trying to talk crap on them just cause she moved on, whatever. If she's happy, that's cool. Cause just in a joking way, because everyone has their own little celebrity crushes. My ex-girlfriend's celebrity crush was always ASAP Rocky. And obviously I look nothing like ASAP Rocky, but the dude she's dating now is mixed and definitely looks a lot closer to ASAP Rocky than I do. So pros for her, hopefully she's happy. I'm not saying she downgraded. If she's happy, she's happy. That's all that matters. I might think that I'm doing better financially, but that, that that's irrelevant. That doesn't really matter to anybody, so. That's why if she's just happy, I'm not trying to knock her like she's downgrading. But I just know me personally as a human, I want to upgrade in my next relationship. And I think that's another reason like I could have jumped into one or two relationships real quick with these girls that I was talking to. But I'm being picky. I want to make sure that the person I choose is the correct person. And that's what anybody watching this that's in this same situation as me and just stressed out, doesn't know what to do, wants to contact their ex. Don't do it. You know, I spent over seven years of my life. I'm only 26. So it it's crazy. And it's weird the way I say it because I was technically 18 when we got together. So it seems like it was like over eight years, but it was just over seven years the way the, the birthdays and stuff all lined up. But it was, it's just crazy to think that it's not that real. Like if she doesn't want to be with you, don't even worry about it. Like make yourself a better person. I'm not a big gym person, but if you want to make yourself look better, go to the gym, work out. Now, I'm all about trying to become successful and make my finances better. So my thought pattern in becoming a monster is like, I'm just going to go hard with my business. Like I have my own business. So the sky's the limit. All I need to do is keep working. I'm obviously not talking about YouTube. I don't make any money from these videos. I'm just making this video. So if someone watches this, maybe it can help them. And even if you're not a business owner, I, I don't know, you could still go hard at work. I know it sucks when you're getting paid per hour to like go and completely bust your balls at 120% because you're gonna get the same pay. Now for me, as my own business owner, and that's why maybe even go out, take that time, free time you have from a breakup or that depression you have from seeing your significant other with someone else and turn that into some sort of business, whatever you like, and just be a monster, be a beast about it. Like go hard and just work hard on that. Better yourself so that way, when your ex sees you in six months to a year, blah, 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 whenever, maybe you never see her, it doesn't even matter. But if you were to run into her, she sees you and she's like, damn, that's what I'm missing out on. I could have been with that still. But not like where they hear negative things about you and they're just chuckling thinking like no one wants to make a joke out of themselves. So don't sit here and let this break up be what destroys your whole world. Like there's millions of other people out there of course, be careful if you're going to be sexually active. No one wants to get anything crazy. So you definitely got to make sure to be careful while you're dating. But you you got to just get out there. I've yet to date anybody seriously. And I don't know. I don't want to date anybody serious anytime soon. But I need to do better at getting out there and talking to girls. Not that I get nervous or anything. I just had that back thought that maybe the ex-girlfriend was still going to call me. And now that I know she's with somebody else and blah, blah, blah. I need to just move on just like anybody else in my situation just hopefully they can watch this video see what me just a random 26 year old dude here in pittsburgh pennsylvania named d-web on youtube has been going through and i don't know maybe i'll help somebody out any of my friends that watch this and see this please don't text me thinking that i'm like gonna harm myself trust me i am fine i'm going through it a lot right now i do have to admit like finding out that she is with somebody else i think has been harder on me than even the initial breakup because I again I've told you guys I wanted children she didn't we knew that like halfway through the seven year relationship so I always knew a breakup was coming but I guess I just I don't know I always hoped I would be the one to move on first or always just thought 
uh, maybe I'll just not know who she's dating, so it won't, like, affect me, or, like, I don't know, but even though I'm not even really friends with the guy she's dating anymore, but it hurts, it does, I can't lie to anybody, and if you're in my situation, it's gonna hurt, but you gotta move on past that, I mean, I have a million women out there that, tr way more than a million, I don't even know what I'm saying, there's literally billions of humans out there, so there's gonna be a better girl out there for me, thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I know this is some deep content. I know the lecture videos aren't that, that exciting, but I'm more or less making these videos so I can look back, remember what I was going through with this situation, and if I can help someone who watches this, that's all that matters because the video is always going to be out there. Thank you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. I just had to add this in at the end because I was editing the video just about to upload it, and I realized I never really mentioned this in it. I doubt the ex is actually going to watch this video, but if you do, just know I still hope you the best. I don't wish any negative on you. I'm not a type of person to be spiteful like that. Even when people do me wrong, not that she did anything wrong by moving on, but even when somebody does screw me over, at the end of the day, I just want the best for everybody. I know that I'm going to work hard and make the best for myself, so I just want to see other people do the same. So hopefully one day me and her can have a conversation and whether it's on the phone or in person and just kind of catch up and get to talk to each other again it probably won't happen anytime soon and i don't ever want to get back with her but you just never know where life will take you and i hope her the best and the second thing i wanted to mention is i said something about how i just got a truck and i want to upgrade it to get a better truck don't think that i like got a piece of crap truck it's not like that it's just that keeps me motivated something like a goal like that it's like oh okay well, I still owe almost 10 grand on this truck, get that paid off, save up a little extra cash, and I can get something a little bit newer. Because the truck I got, it's pretty nice. I'll try to put a photo up, but it's a 2013 Dodge Ram 1500 with the Hemi engine, 5.7, but it has 90,000 miles. That's kind of the bummer right there. It just has a bit too many miles. So that's what I'm saying is I just can't wait to get that paid off save up a little cash and get something a little bit newer, maybe like a 2016, 2019 with like 30,000 miles, maybe 40,000 miles, that would be ideal. And just keep that momentum and keep that drive in my head and keep growing my business because at the end of the day, I need to better myself. I know I already hinted on that, but I just, that's the biggest point I'm trying to put across you guys is better yourself. Don't rush into a relationship and be with somebody that you're not even actually liking or that somebody that I don't know, you're just rushing into it because you don't want to be in alone because being alone sometimes can actually help you hard. Like it can help you even more being alone because that way you're only focused on what's going to help you progress. So I don't know, just my own input. Mm -hmm.